Well, we're ready for um, 1A, and uh, we're, our feature match is Aaron Warnemont from Pocahontas versus Kyle Burkle from North Lynn Troy Mills. Burkle here at the uh, red ankle band, say red knee pad also, black and uh, orange, and Warnemont from Pocahontas area in the green. Actually, I think that's yeah, mixed opposite. up. I yeah, think it's Wernemont, the opposite here. Wernemont is in the green, um, and he's uh, underneath right now. And Burkle in the maroon singlet and the... No. Greg, you going back up? Yeah, I think they've got it mixed up here. Yeah. So, uh, Pocahontas um, wrestler, uh, Wernemont is... Uh, he's yeah. got the red ankle band. Yep. The black and, and red uh, singlet. And uh, Burkle has the green ankle band. North Lynn and the maroon. That's right. Both wrestlers tied up here ear to ear. Not really much offense that you can get off in that position. The guy center it. There's a nice single leg attempt. Drops in. Boy, that was. He dropped in and he came on down and covered the other leg really well, didn't he, Jim? Yeah, drove across. Now he's into a nice tight waist ride. There's the other boxes and 2A. We have uh, CJ Edelson and Chad it. Hutchinson. Got one green, both up. You're on your feet. One and green. then uh, in 3A, Ben Moss and Brad Stockton. Well, uh, Weirmont just did, does a, did a good job of uh, Got two red, takedown, two red. escape, and now he comes back into a takedown of his own. Or actually, yeah, uh, Burkle gets the escape, and then Weirmont comes into a takedown. So he's got a four-to-one lead with uh, 18 seconds left in the period. Now, a little bit of a scramble green. situation where, where Burkle comes up, and now he's got the far leg turn wrapped up. If he elevates that bottom leg, he's got a chance to get some back points here, Tim. Wow, wow. End of the, the end of the period. Yeah, what a what a scramble situation you have here. I think it's gonna be a five to four score okay, now. Ryan, it's your choice, top down neutral, defer. It's gonna defer. Green, your still, choice, top down still neutral. Four, four three, but uh, still four to three. No, they're gonna go and, okay, and got, check it out. We got two reversal, we got two near fall. Oh, it's green, I'm sorry, my mistake. Got it. Okay. Two reversals, two green. Five, four. Here we go. Green, your choice. Green, down. Okay. Burkle's going to take the down position, so that's a... Uh, okay, set the bottom. One of those, those big explosive moves that you... Set, top and cover. Two-point reversals and two-point near falls. Got one green. You're both up. You're on your feet right now. Both wrestlers have gotten... Uh, actually, uh, word of mouth's got the takedowns here. Burkle's got the reversal and near fall. Two escapes. Well, Minister was trying that short drag type attempts, Tim. Minute 30 left in the second period, and the score is 6 4 in favor of the Lynx wrestler, North Lynn Troy Mills, Kyle Burkle. 42 and 1 record. And that's another nice single leg attempt by Wernemout. Nice up. attempt. Oh, nice finish. Yep, there was. He just makes it 6-6. Six, six. It's he, all knotted up between Wernemout and Burkle. Made the comment earlier that they're ear to ear and you couldn't get much done there. So Wernemout started getting into his offense a little bit before they made contact. What we call free shot. Reaches down and grabs that wrist and... He's already given up a reversal of near fall point, so he's probably gonna be a little more careful in the top position here. We talked about uh, C.J. Ellison earlier, just two-time champ going for his third. He's out to a 4-0 lead in the second period over Chad Hutchinson from Minneapolis. That's on the 2A mat, and in the 3A mat, the score is um, Stockton 11, and no, no Stockton green, 6, green, and Ben Moss up. 4, so it's a close match in 3A. Burkle gets the escape, so he jumps out to a 7-6 lead. Burkle in the maroon singlet. Boy, this is a good match again right here in between. Here's a single leg attempt. Notice how he keeps on driving with his lower body, and he changes the angle. Drives right through the hips there. Yep. 
good technique. Now Wernemont again is in a, a short drag position. He drops right back in on that leg. Looks like to, he's got a good finish trying here. Trying to cut off and he does. He's dropped, he tries to get two. Now he's trying to come out the back door. Does a good job of getting his head out. He's running out of time. No, no so points. No points. He did a nice job of trying to finish okay, that. Red, your choice. Single leg attempt. Red's going down. Okay, the Pocahontas wrestler, Wernemont, chooses down. And That's he is out front, okay. seven, to, cover? seven to six. Actually, he's, no, he's, he's up, trailing he's, seven he's six. trailing yeah. seven to six. Merkel does a nice job of stopping Wernemont's first move. Oh, that's uh, C.J. Edelson in trouble over there. Tell you what, nothing's been easy for these state champions this weekend. C.J. Edelson went into overtime here yesterday. That's four to four now. Four to four. Um, and that's the Minneapolis is Chad Hutchinson, who's 46 and 0, going against Edelson, who's 41 and 0. Great matchup. Burkle trying to go ahead and ride Wernemont yeah, out. Maybe center, take a little of the starch down. out of him here. That top main cover. Here's your... Uh... Tight waist ride here by Burkle. And notice how he has his opponent Wernemont. He's got his forehead on the mat. He's working that inside wrist. We call a spiral ride. He comes up under with his right arm, and then you see his left arm is putting a little pressure on the inside part of his uh, back leg, Wernemont's back leg. One minute left in the match. It's still seven to six, and uh, Green, you're hanging here. North Lynn's go. Kyle Burkle go. doing a good job of right riding, here. as you've been describing. Good, tough spiral ride. That's how Protecting the lead. The referee Robert Murphy made a great call there. I think he, he called. Uh, Burkle for stalling and because he is just kind of hanging back here. Burkle Parallel Jr. right here. Going up against Wernemont, who is a sophomore. Now you can ride tough like this and attempt for Wernemont to get Come to his on, feet. Red. Runs right back Stop into it. a single leg. They're going to go off the mat. Yeah, I got one red, we're on our feet. One red. So how about right. this, Tim? We're 7 7 with 31 seconds left in the third. Another good finish. It really is, and now it comes Dad. down to this. Uh, who's going to get that clean shot and finish? Burkle likes to uh, work from a tied position, and Wernemont went a little bit too under. Shot across the body there, gave up the point. Does a good job of getting back to the escape. Now he's got to try to get a big move here. And we're, we're talking about the Pocahontas wrestler down by one. Oh, no. Oh, what a flurry. That's quite a flurry. Yep. Burkle's going to walk away with a state championship just because he just kept on wrestling. Every position he stayed offensive. We got seven. There's your uh, winner from North Lynn, Troy Mills. Co coaches Chris Anderson, Brad Bridgewater. Very happy for Kyle Burkle, the state champion at 130 pounds for Class A. And there's your 3A champion. Brad Stockton, I just see him completing a perfect record of 41-0 from Iowa City West, winning it for Coach Mark Ryland. <laughs> he wins it over Ben Moss from Lewis Central. Stockton the winner in 3A and in 2A. Edelson got a little breathing room there. He's up, uh, where, there it is, uh, Edelson, two-time state champion from Hudson. And uh, ahead nine to four with 15 seconds left over Chad Hutchinson from Minneapolis. You knew somebody's perfect record was going to be marred and it looks like Hutchinson will end the season 46 and one, not too shabby. And CJ Edelson will become a three time state champion. Well, like I said, it didn't come easy. He had a tough match in the uh, uh, semifinals. He just kept on wrestling, kept his poise. And now he's got three titles. There you go, C.J. Edelson. Third time he's going to get his hand raised as a champion, and he's only a junior. So uh, add him up, I think, just like Mac Ryder, and they've wrestled in the same kids' club coming up through the years, and 
He says, uh, we'll take the next one as it comes. And uh, if it does for both Ryder and C.J. Edelson, that'll be quite an accomplishment from the same uh, wrestling club. One in 3A, or one in 1A, one in 2A. To the awards. C.J. Edelson did win that third state championship. He's only a junior. He decisioned Chad Hutchinson 9-4, to four, although Hutchinson had C.J. Edelson in trouble there in the second period, but then Edelson came on strong and regained that championship a third time. Back to the awards. Thirty pounds. It was Ben Moss from Council Bluffs, Lewis Central, going up against Brad Stockton, a senior from Iowa City West. There was only takedowns and escapes in this match, and Brad Stockton got two of those takedowns versus one for Ben. So Stockton wins the state championship at 130 pounds in Class 3A. Three-time state champion C.J. Edelson. Uh, you got into a predicament there. Were you scared? Uh, not really scared. I mean, I went in the match knowing that he had good laterals, very good laterals. And before my match, my dad just taught me. He goes, you get in the lateral, he gets deep, just do a Metzger, and the Metzger... I got two takedowns off of Metzger, so... Uh, Look at here. Look at that videotape now. There. Your hand was raised. That's happened a lot with you. You were undefeated this season. Yeah. Uh, what's ahead in the summer? Lots of freestyle. I love freestyle. Congratulations. We'll see you back here next year. Thanks a lot. Tim? Thank you, Dean. One of the secrets, isn't it? Let's go to the awards. Ladies and gentlemen, we direct your attention to the award stand area at the east end of the auditorium. Presenting the Class 1A 130-pound awards, Chris Anderson or Brad Bridgewater of North Lynn, Troy Mills. Sixth place, Brandon Young, Iowa City, Regina. Fifth place, Mike Field, Woodward Granger. Fourth place, Corey Edwards, Bedford. Third place, Nick Cheery, New London. Runner-up, Aaron Wernemont, Pocahontas area. And the 131A champion from Northland, Troy Mills, Kyle Burkle. Let's go to Dean. Well, Tim, at 135 pounds in double A, the champion is junior Michael Wells of Clorinda. He came here last year, wrestled in the championship meet, but he came in second. This year, he's champion. He decisioned 7-1 Adam Grell of DeWitt Central. Back to the awards. Presenting the Class 2A 130-pound awards, Coach Tim Edelson, assistant coach and father. Sixth place, Tyler Brewer, Carlisle. Fifth place, Steve Bunch, Albia. Fourth place, Jordan Weber, Independence. Third place, Jacob Nag, Emmitsburg Armstrong Ringstead. Runner-up, Chad Hutchinson, Minneapolis. And the 130-pound 2A champion from Hudson, C.J. Edelson. Turn around, please. Let's go to Joe Gibbons. All right, in Class 3 at 135 pounds, it was Pat Alabon of Sioux City, Healand, going up against Mike Foster, a senior from Oskaloosa. Both wrestlers came in the match with just one loss for the season, but the difference was Foster's two takedowns versus Pat uh, Alabon's two reversals. The final score, 6-4. to four. Mike Foster, your Class 3, 135-pound state champion. Here we come with the 3A awards. Climbing to the top is Stockton from Iowa City West. And what a thrill for uh, Mr. Mr. Edelson. Coach Mark Ryland of yeah. Iowa City West. Sixth place, Brandon Graham, Oskaloosa. Fifth place, Andre Vandervelde, Council Bluffs, Abraham, Abraham Lincoln. Fourth place, Chad Zerwick, Muscatine. Third place, Jeremy Meyer, Newton. Runner-up, Ben Moss, Lewis Central, and the 130-pound champion, Class 3A from Iowa City West, Brad Stockton.
Turn around, please. 